630 arrests in one month in London on climate protesters. We're going to read into this more from The Guardian, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Lee here with an article from The Guardian with the headline that the police make 630 arrests of climate protesters in London in just one month. Liber Liberty condemns the staggering and sho shocking statistics as anti-protest legislation is enacted. <clears throat> the rights and the rights that we have in this country are being taken away, and once again, another example of that being taken away from people. People care about this planet. People are worried about their futures and their future generations here. And this is how uh, this is how the government responds by enacting, giving even more powers to stop uh, people from protesting and speaking their minds. And a huge amount of people, 630 people, arrested. For, for protesting. The whole point of a protest is to disrupt and make noise. And this here, again, is another example of people being silenced here. Just ridiculous, to say the least. And I just find this number absolutely staggering that this many people, and this is also a complete waste of police time as well, time and paperwork that they could be using to actually deal with, I don't know, real crime. Just going to put that out there. Because the, quite frankly, the police have been at, been nothing short of poor overall in terms of their service that they are supposed to be doing. And they're spending a lot of their time having to do this because of the new laws that have been enacted on them. It's really sad to say the least. Um, and climate matters is an important subject. I know some people probably are not as interested or some people don't care. But <clears throat> it, may not, it may not matter to some people but... I've seen what's happening. I'm seeing what's happening in the world. I've seen what's happening here. Last year was a prime example of it, of the staggering temperatures that we had. And just because we didn't reach those heights this year doesn't mean that we can't come back to those years again. That we can't come back to that year that we had last year again. There were searing hot temperatures in many places last uh, this year. And it will happen again. And it's going to continue to happen. And it's going to badly affect yeah, where people live. It's going to affect economies. It's going to affect food. There's all sorts of repercussions if we don't get on top of it. And these protesters are trying to speak their minds. And they're being denied that voice by this current Conservative government. So the police have made at least 630 arrests of peaceful protesters campaigning against new oil and gas productions in the past month. As the authorities exploit new powers under the government's anti-protest legislation. The mass arrests of more than 470 people, including individuals who were arrested more than once, were condemned by civil rights groups Liberty as staggering and shocking. The protests involved slow marching along roads and in form of a peaceful civil resistance agonist to the freedom rides of the US in 1961, where individuals protested against segregated public transport, says Just Stop Oil. <clears throat> Evidence gathered by The Guardian over the last four weeks reveals some people have been held in police cuff custody for long periods after arrest. Why? Why have they been held in the rest, rest for after that? This is so stupid. Such a waste of police time. Democratic rights, their rights to speak their minds are being taken away from them. A 23-year-old was arrested within five minutes of joining a demonstration on the 13th of November and held for 56 hours in custody before being presented to court, according to his testimony to The Guardian. <coughs> A 19-year-old student was held for three nights in a London prison despite being given bail by a magistrate's court. The student was considering a case of false imprisonment. You can see what's happening here. They're trying to suppress, trying to basically stop them from protesting. The protests over the last four weeks coincide with the British government's confirmation in the King's Speech plan to grant new North Sea oil and gas licences every year. <clears throat> Police are using new powers to make mass arrests under Section 7 of the Conservative Government's Public Order Act, which bans any action that interferes with the use of operation of, of any key national infrastructure. Uh, again, like I told, take you, I talked about this already, that the point, point of protest is to be able to speak your mind. And if, if protesters aren't able to disrupt, then what is the point of, of protesting? <clears throat> 
according to data gathered by Just Stop Oil, and were not disputed by the Metropolitan Police, almost half of the arrests were carried out under Section 7. The offences carry a prison sentence of up to 12 months. Where are you going to find space in these in the prisons? It's, 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 just, it's so ridiculous. The 19-year-old student, who cannot be named for legal reasons, was held in a London prison for four nights after his arrest under Section 7. After the first night in prison, he appeared by a video link for a court appearance. He was bailed by the court and should have been released. The student was held a further three nights in the prison scale, according to testimony given to the Guardian. I consider that I was illegally imprisoned over three nights of that weekend, and I will be taking care of my wrongful imprisonment, the student said. Another 19-year-old student, who was arrested and also cannot be named for legal reasons, was held for 50 hours in the London police cell from Monday morning, from Monday morning to Wednesday at 1pm. She was charged under Section 7 of the Act after 24 hours in custody, but held for another day and a half in custody before being taken to court. I remember asking for my mediation and I didn't get it, she said. I asked multiple times. One of the officers said, why didn't you have it with you? And I said, I didn't expect to be held for 50 hours in a cell. And the officer said, what, after what you have done? Like I was a murderer or something. It just wanted me to make me feel bad. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make, they're trying to make them, intimidate them and, and make them feel as if that what they're doing is wrong. And for them to be able to stand up for, for their rights. A police police are trying to intimidate them. It's so stupid. This whole this law is just wrong on so many levels. Zhang Pang, a policy and campaign officer for Liberty, said, We have all the rights to make our voices heard on the issues that matter to us. The staggering number of people arrested in recent weeks under many under this new legislation shows just how sweeping and dangerous these powers are. It's shocking to see hundreds of young protesters criminalised simply for standing up for what they believe in. Scotland Yard says 630 arrests have been made of Just Stop Oil protesters since October the 30th, and 328 went on to be charged. The rest have been released on bail, police bail. The JSO data shows at least 276 people have been charged. At least 125 were charged with blocking key national infrastructures under Section 7 and 125, was less so offensive of willful obstruction of the highway. And Just Stop Oil said that they've imprisoned peaceful protesters protesting <coughs> the real criminals protecting the real criminals and licensing more than 100 new oil and gas projects while everything burns. The widespread use of Section 7 appears to have taken its toll on Just Stop Oil's latest campaign of protests. On Wednesday, just half a dozen people turned up at Trafalgar Square, with only three wearing orange bibs with the group's insignia. A couple of police officers hovered nearby. Everyone asked everyone uh, why they thought they had so few come. One demonstrator said, everyone's been arrested, everyone's got caught. That's the thing. They've, they've been silenced. This is this is this is suppression. This is suppression. It's what this is. They are suppressing protesters and the right to free speech. That's what it is. And more and more of this is going to happen. You know, your rights are going to get taken away. That's what it is. Rachel Payne, 73. She said she's already been jailed for her part in the Just the Oil campaign during last year's COP27 climate talks. She said the law had narrowed down what we are able to do as a protest. Last week I saw them get on top of Whitehall and as soon as they put their feet on the road, swarms of police just arrest them, two days running. In this country it's supposed to be a free country. Protest is supposed to be a duty supposed to be a duty of the police to enable protest, yet they are not even allowed to be there. A university lecturer who knows who knows one of those arrested said he believes this the use of section seven for walking down the road was disproportionate for such a peaceful protest. Graham Mann, a lecturer on atmosphere for science at Leeds University, said my perspective from being a PhD student in the 90s and the urgency of the climate emergency then, science is very, very clear and it has been for a long time. The urgency to decarbonise and reduce emissions has become even greater, so I can understand young people taking these actions. A spokesperson for the Climate Action Support Pathway, which provides advice to those considering taking action, said this is the first real first real test for these new powers, sec new Section 7 powers. And it became clear that the police were going to use them readily. We changed the emphasis of our advice to those considering taking part as a result of the Section 7 carries a higher maximum penalty for the year in prison, and people need to be making informed choices about whether they want to take action or not. Asked about the 19-year-old student held in London prison, the Ministry of Justice spokesperson said we are looking into the matter. Scotland Yard have said all decisions on whether to charge bail or NFA, that's no further action, just stop all activists have been made within the 24 hours. We are working with magistrate courts across London and in some cases in other countries to put activists who have been in charge before magistrates at the earliest opportunity. However, there is only a limited number of people who can be seen by magistrates each day, so it is not always possible for them to appear on the day that they are charged. This is nothing more, guys. 
then a complete waste of money and a complete waste of time. Protesters should be having the right for free speech. We, um, their, their rights to speak should be is important. And on the subject of climate, as I've said already, they need, they have a right to be spoke to speak their minds. This is suppression. This is this is authoritarianism. Uh, authoritarianism is what this is. This is this is not democratic. Yeah. Don't kid yourself. We do not live in a democratic country anymore. Yeah. If you think that this is perfectly okay to do this, this is not democratic. The whole point of a protest is to disrupt and to make noise. And these climate protesters, whether you agree or disagree with them or not, should be given the right to be able to protest and speak their minds. And they're not being allowed to do that. What are they supposed to do? Every single thing, every option that they have to challenge the government on climate, they've been denied. And this is and this is their only option. And now young kids, young students, people taking part are being thrown in prison for speaking their minds. Is that democracy? Is that democratic? No, it's not. And this is this is and who knows how much when when how much more is it going to go you know dare i say the rejoining you march would they do it to them would they do it to a palestine march where where is the line this is important guys what do you guys make 630 arrests in one month a ridiculous amount of people what a waste of police money and time. Do you agree with me on that? Do you agree with those assessments? And does that law need to be repealed as soon as Labour get into power? If they get into power. Let me know what you guys honestly think down in the comments section below. Hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share this across social media. And hit that bell notification icon. So you'll be notified of when I upload another video. And if you want to financially support me. You can do so by buying me a coffee. Or joining me on Patreon. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope to catch you all very very soon.